Hello everybody. So I am going to make a follow-up video to my last um, video that was about dating and relationships. It was called uh, How to Get Girls as an INTP. So I've had a couple INTPs um, who would like me to elaborate on this and other people as well because this applies to uh, guys in general probably could relate to girls also if you're if you're a, a lady watching so i said in the last one that intps could really benefit by talking more getting to know people more um some intps expressed a bit of uh, distaste for that idea uh for a good reason being intps uh, we don't want to get to know a lot of people. I understand that. I relate with that. Um, kind of want to keep it few and far between. Uh, you know, small circle of friends don't want to necessarily meet new people all the time. Totally get that. Um, so you don't necessarily have to be meeting new people all the time to uh, attract females. Um this is going to be a very simple tip, like the last one, because I like to keep things simple. Um, there's a lot of dating advice out there that is really unhelpful. It really uh, requires you to kind of be fake in a lot of ways. My dating advice is the opposite. Uh, my dating advice is about being real. It's about being honest, being genuine, uh, which is really what men and women want. Anyway, so, um, my method is basically to cut through all the BS and say, and, and, and basically say, I'm interested. Uh, you don't actually say that. You don't want to, like, give away all your mystery, but you also don't want to act like you don't like the girl. You never want to do that. Uh, that's, that's, re that's really stupid advice you hear a lot of the time, pretending like you're, you're not interested and stupid shit like that. Um... I'm more of type of guy that uh, I have no problem showing interest as long as you don't get too attached because that, that attachment will create um, a psychological anxiety inside a woman. So uh, that's, that's what many guys don't understand is uh, the reason why they're pushing someone away, pushing a woman away, uh, a lot of the time is because they are, they are implying some sort of obligation or they're putting some sort of pressure on the woman without realizing it. So when you make it clear that you're very into a girl, especially early on, too early on, um, before she's had time to sort of process her feelings and start to like you, that that's going to really scare her away and put a lot of pressure on her. And people don't like to feel like they're pressured into things. They don't like to feel like they're losing their freedom. It's just the way it is. And a lot of insecure guys will take it personally when a girl kind of pulls away be like, oh, she pulled away. I gotta go chase after her. I gotta do something crazy. I gotta, you know, express my love to her or stuff like that. And then they end up just making it worse because the reason the girl's pulling away is because they're acting too much that way. They're too, too much of like, um, needy and clingy and controlling. It really comes off controlling too when you're trying to force someone to love you like that. You really, it's it's imperative, imperative that you let women be free. If if you get nothing else from my advice, women must be free. Ask any woman out there watching, they'll agree with you. They, they must be free to come and go as they please and do what they want. And like I've said before, if you don't like what they do, find someone else. Find a different girl. You can't control women. It doesn't work. So anyway, they have to come to you, um, you know, on their own time and when they're ready. And you have to be comfortable with that means you can't get attached too quickly. So anyway, my simple advice, which I am taking forever to get to, is you need to be a part of some sort of group. You don't necessarily have to be like a social butterfly like uh, a lot of you guys thought that's what I meant in the last video. It's extremely helpful to be a part of something, like a band, for example. Something that, you know... Even if it's just a group of friends, you're much better off being seen with a group of people or at least one other person than by yourself. When you're by yourself, you're automatically, you, you automatically 
have negative assumptions being drawn about you anytime you're by yourself. Um, it, it, any any loss prevention uh, specialist will tell you that any guy that's by himself in a store is automatically suspicious because he's by himself. It's just the way it is. Um, loners are kind of discriminated against in that way. Um, so even if there's nothing weird or suspicious about the guy, if he's by himself, he's automatically kind of got this like weirdo vibe uh, a lot of the time not always but it really helps you to appear more normal and more safe for a woman when you're in a group especially if it's if you're a part of something like a band or something well known something that has recognition uh, in fact that's that's probably one of the one of the best things you could do for yourself is uh, is become a part of something like that become well known in some way or uh known for being good at something um it it that's it, one of the best things you can do in my opinion especially as an introvert to sort of get more attention and like sometimes almost too much attention like when i was younger when i was in a band i got like way too much attention actually to the point where it was like too much for me i was like man what, what am i gonna do with all this attention uh but yeah You know, be careful with that, you know, but that's one of the best things you can do is just find something to be a part of, have a group uh, that you're known for, you know. So it's not necessarily that you have to be like a social butterfly like uh, a couple people thought. But it, it, you got to be a part of something. That, that's, that's the second tip I can give you that's going to really dramatically improve your dating life. So if you have any questions, guys, uh, let me know. There will be a part three coming out pretty soon here. I know I took a while to get to the point, but I hope this was helpful. More coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys.